Principles by Ray Dalio. I have not read the full book yet. I'm still going through the book. But one thing that did catch my attention was him mentioning that he was 69 years old and he has achieved everything that he has ever wanted to achieve in his life. However, he still struggles to this day and he will still struggle until the day he passes. For those who don't know Ray Dalio, he started an investment business called Bridgewater and he has, I think, $19 billion. So he's one of the top 100 richest people in the world. And he made a book called Principles talking about his life, you know, the, the work and all these different things. And he explains so many different things. But one thing that did catch my attention as I was reading the book, like I said, is his struggles and things that he went through. And it kind of caught my attention because I realized here's a guy who's made everything, who has all the money in the world, he can go wherever he wants, he can pretty much do anything he wants, and he's probably set for the next couple of generations. However, this guy, he's still struggling, he's still going through things, there's still things that bug him, and he's a human being. And one thing that I remember about myself, like a few years back, was I was so hungry for this thing called so-called success that I was chasing it. I kept chasing it and then when I built my Instagram account, I built it to 200 followers and then it went for 500 and then when I hit 1000, that was I was so happy, I was like wow. But then after a few days, it just went away and then I just kept going and I kept going and I kept going until I reached 3000 and then that's when I said, what are you doing man, like you're not feeling fulfilled with this, you're not benefiting off this. and you're not really getting the kind of work that you really want to get and you're going too fast with this. And then I heard something from Gary Vaynerchuk. He was talking about patience and the process and put in the work. Yes, when you're at work, put in the work. However, it's a process. Be patient, you know. Don't expect it now. Just be patient. So what happened with that Instagram account, I actually reactivated it recently, is as soon as I stopped uploading, because it all came so fast, it all crumbled down pretty fast as well. So there's no foundation. People are unfollowing it every single day as I told people to if they don't want to follow it. It's pretty much a dead page. Now, the chase, the chase of so-called success, the chase of money, the chase of women, the chase of if men, if you're a woman or if you, whatever, the, the, the chase of, the chase of love, the chase of you know, materialistic things, the chase of happiness, chasing, 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 it doesn't end. And that's something that I feel like needs to be emphasized more in this society, that this so-called thing that we call success is an illusion. Someone could be making $50,000 a year and be more than happy, but someone could be making $10 million a year and super stressed out. It's like the saying, more money, more problems, right? Now, I'm not discrediting money. I still see myself as someone who will accumulate a lot of money in the near future. However, I'm not going to let it dictate my life and I'm not going to dictate my success. Now, as an entrepreneur, sky's the limit for most things, right? If you are an employee and you're working at a job, the building steps are, they're limited, you know, like unless you're working for, you know, a big, big company and you're like a number two or number three. And yeah, once you get into that, you just feel like you're just chasing, chasing, chasing. And the chase never ends, as I just discussed. And it's important to know that because once you know that, then you can start to take it easy and you can start to take it slow and gradual. Gradual growth is more important than super fast exponential growth. Exponential growth is great, however, if you're doing it right. I see a lot of people trying to take shortcuts, I see a lot of people trying to do this, trying to do this and that. Through my own mistakes, I realized that, okay, maybe I don't have what I want now, maybe I'm not where I want to be now, and I probably never will be where I want to be because we're always constantly chasing, 
But if I'm happy and fulfilled where I'm at right now, and I'm working towards where I want to achieve, so if I'm uploading videos once a week, I'm contributing to myself and I'm helping myself, right? But if I'm making videos once a day and I'm not stopping and I'm grinding, I'm grinding, grinding, there's nothing wrong with that. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But at some point, you kind of burn out. Now, why am I doing these videos? I want to do these videos once a week so that I can become a great filmmaker and a great photographer and just a good, great creator. However, I don't want to focus too much on numbers and I don't want to focus too much on what I don't have. I don't want to focus too much on this and that and too much into the future because once I start to do that, I forget where I'm at right now. You know, I look at my videos back in February or March and I look back and I'm like, whoa, like the quality was terrible. However, now I look at my videos and I will look at someone else who's a professional filmmaker. And then now I look at my content, I'm like, whoa, this is nothing. Why am I like, this is terrible. However, if I looked back, I could see that there's been a lot of improvements and that's because I'm focused on myself. So the process of the chase is, that doesn't mean don't go after your goals and don't achieve what you wanna achieve. Go after those goals. Go after those goals, crush them. Go after it every single day. Be consistent, do whatever you can do. However, don't start to chase it and don't start to feel as though you're not living life because you're not there yet. It's gonna take time. You're not gonna get it today, maybe not tomorrow, maybe not next week, maybe not in a year but you will get it at some point. Why? Because you're working towards it. You're absolutely, you as a person are working towards it. So know that as long as you work towards it and you're consistent and you're, and you have belief in yourself and you're positive about it, you will achieve those goals. And then you will look back and then you'll be like, wow, I went a long way. It's been a long, long journey and at that time you can look forward to the next step and that's part of life that's what life is so let me know what you guys think let me know if you guys have been exposed to the chase and you guys have the experience you got, let me know if you guys have experience of the chase and all these different things and um yeah please subscribe um and i'll talk to you guys in a future vid peace